Hey there, this is Jamarcus here, and in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to perform a hemocote testing, aka the poop test. Let's get it started. More and more often, people worldwide collect fecal samples for healthcare professionals to diagnose or rule out health conditions such as colorectal cancer, inflammations or infections by bacteria, fungus, or even viruses. Worldwide, colorectal cancer is increasing, therefore, timely screening is very important. Laboratory testing for screening program requires an optimal quality of the sample feces. In order for us to get an accurate test, it must be done right. So it starts with the correct collection method of feces. Right now, collecting reliable samples is a challenging process. There's always a large risk of contamination if feces come in contact with water or even urine. This could potentially alter the laboratory testing. So the advantage of collecting non-contaminated feces are clear, but how can we do that without contaminating the feces? So what we do is we will send the patient home with a biogradable and flushable paper that you can just slide over the toilet seat. And after defecation and collecting the sample, the fecal then can be discarded and flushed. This allows the patient to save the patient from creating a mess. Moreover, using a reliable sterile collection will ensure a reliable laboratory test. So when we begin to look at hemocote testing, that word hemocote means hidden or to hide. It's literally translated blood that's hitting in the stool. And so when we begin to look at a specimen like what's in this container, we won't always be able to see actual blood in the feces, which is why this test is so essential. Blood can show up in the feces for many reasons. It can show up as a sign of colon cancer. It can show up as an infection, like with the H. pylori bacteria. And it can also show up as anal fissures, which is a, a, a certain condition that when a person goes to the restroom and poops, that each time that they poops, there's a tear within that skin along that rectum. And so this is one of the reasons why we do this test so we can rule out colon cancer. So I have gathered all my supplies in order for me to perform this procedure. And now I'm going to get started. All right, so as I mentioned earlier, you may not be able to see exactly blood in the stool with the naked eye, but that does not mean that the blood is not there. So first, we have to get our specimen, get it together, and then we're going to make sure that we write our patient's name on the hemocote card. Okay, after we write our patient's name on the hemocote card, we're going to get our specimen, and after we get our specimen, we're going to use our wooden applicator that came with the kit, and we're going to use that to draw out our stool sample. All right. As we're drawing it out, um, I want to make mention that a lot of times when you're dealing with this type of stool, the stool is going to be either semi-solid or liquid. Because if you're doing this, then there's a slight chance you're going to be dealing with some gastrointestinal distress that your patient is going through. So I put the feces on these windows. And there are instructions on how to do this actually on the card as well. So after you put the fecal specimen in those two windows, you put it on that card, you're going to close it up. And after you close this hemocote card, there are little tabs that open here and you can put the top of it there so it can be nice and closed. All right. Then we're going to wait three to five minutes. And when it's done, we're going to develop the test using the kits developer. So there is a set of QC that's in the card itself. So as we open it, we're going to see positive and negative QC windows. And what we're going to do is we're going to put two drops of the developer between those QC windows. And we're also going to put two drops in the fecal window once we open it up. So let's just say three to five minutes have passed. We open it up. And as we open up our window, we're going to get our developer. And as we get our developer, we're going to make sure that we swirl it around. And we're going to put two drops of the regent that's in this developer in between the QC windows. The blue would indicate positive. And if it was no color change, that would indicate a negative. So I'm going to do this on each of those windows. And that's the test. As you can see here, the test is negative. Again, if it was blue, that will indicate positive. But as we're looking at it, the test is negative. And that is how you perform a hemocote test. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.